Did you know you can get paid to tow banners with just a private pilot's license? That's right, you don't even need a commercial license. No, that can't be right. If, if, if you wanna do it from an airplane, you're gonna to have to have your commercial license and you're gonna to have to have permission from the FAA. It's kinda of, kind of complicated. Uh, but if you wanted to just tow a banner like from your, your, your bike or a boat, you don't even have to have a pilot's license, honestly. Uh, but so today we're gonna to talk about towing banners, what goes into it, how much it costs, the different types, and then like, what, like why, what's, what's exciting? It's actually surprisingly more exciting than you might imagine. You ever wonder how they get the banner on the plane in the air? Uh, it's fascinating. I got some, some video footage uh, of planes doing just that, and I went to an operation where they do banner towing. This is kind of a weird thing, but let's dive in. If you think about it, aerial banners are the original pop-up ads. You kind of see the plane towing a banner and you sort of look at it sideways and start to wonder like, is this, does this work? Is, this, is anyone buying? And, and who's, who's paying money for this? Um, but you can't, you can't close it. Um, but that's not the point. We're not talking about advertising. We're talking about the different reasons you might want to pay someone to tow a banner to send a message to somebody. No one answers their phone anymore. None of us answer our email or even look at our email. So if you want to get the message across, you should probably consider hiring someone to tow a banner with your message and fly a plane around the person you're trying to communicate with. If you want to send an important message to that special someone in your life, what's going to make a bigger impact? What's going to be more meaningful? Sending them a text or hiring a pilot to tow a banner with your message near their house so you can tell them exactly how you feel about them. Maybe there's somebody you really like and you're having trouble getting, getting a hold of them because they're not taking your phone calls anymore and they've stopped responding to your texts and they've blocked you on social media. Well, you know what you can't block? You can't block a plane flying outside the window with a message on it. I'm telling you right now, this is a universal way to communicate with somebody and they kind of have to pay attention. Maybe you're not wanting to use an airborne banner to foster a relationship. Banners can be effective for a whole slew of other reasons. I'll show you some now. Perhaps you want to alert people to events that are going on in the local area. Maybe you've got really strong political opinions. People love politics and they love other people's opinions about politics. Perhaps you're just living your best life and this is your way to scream it from the hilltops. So there's a lot of different reasons that you might want an airborne banner. Now, I want to ask a question. Do you know how the banner gets connected to the aircraft in flight? No, I do not. I didn't. I went to Big Q Aviation. If you've been watching the channel recently, we did this glider flight with those folks. They also do banner towing. And so here's a clip showing how the plane gets the banner attached. I thought maybe they attached it and it just took off towing the banner. It doesn't. The plane takes off with a rope that's trailing this hook. It looks like a grappling hook from the movies or a, a, a fish hook or something. And this hook is hanging from the back of the plane. The plane dives down and then there's two poles with a string between it that's attached to the banner. The hook catches that banner and then the plane goes up and takes the banner with it. Right away, my first thought is you probably don't want to be anywhere near this thing when the plane comes by just because that would be bad. Um, if you were caught by the hook and you were being towed behind the airplane uh, just by your face, people on the ground aren't going to understand what the message is. So they'll be looking and they'll be like, I don't, I don't know. And then it probably costs a lot more money, which just stay away from the hook. So as you can see, the process of actually getting the banner uh, attached to the airplane is is pretty cool um, and hopefully you're seeing that there's value in using this method of communication I mean honestly with banners today's sorry I missed our anniversary is tomorrow's does anyone need a roommate uh, so it's very effective let's go talk to Carol at Big Q Aviation all right so these are letters that get towed behind a plane you can see A B C D E F G the whole alphabet and Carol is going to show us you have the letter R so it's like Sesame Street, but huge. We can <laughs> and so these letters, the back of one letter hooks to the front of another letter, and you can spell whatever you, your heart desires, I suppose. Yep. So people hire you and say, I want this message. Is there a maximum length? Uh, for us, for this airplane, it's uh, 42 letters. 42 letters. Two letters and spaces. So that's banner towing, but it's not the only way to communicate with people. If you're an old guy like me, you probably at some point looked up in the sky and saw a plane like drawing a Pepsi logo or something with its smoke. By the time it was done, it had kind of been blown away by the wind. Um, I used to see that when I was a kid. Um, we called that sky riding. Um, I don't know that they really do that much anymore. I've seen them do the happy face at Oshkosh and some other air shows, but it, it's not as, as common as I recall as a kid. 
an another cool thing that I think is fascinating is called sky typing. Um, last time I read about sky typing, it's a company, they have five Grumman Tigers, I believe, and they fly in formation and they got GPS so they know where they are in space and there's a computer based on where they are, spits out puffs of spoke that are actually like pixels that make up letters and spell words. So now the question, can you afford to communicate with people by using aerial messaging? Probably not. It's not cheap. The sky typing, uh, I read an article today that said um, it's somewhere between fifteen dollars and $30,000 depending on the message, uh, how long it is and, and where specifically uh, in the country you want the message. So I don't know that that's an effective, I don't know what the ROI is on that. Uh, the banner towing, I've seen uh, different prices online, five or $600 for a little short one or two word message and it goes up from there. So um, I doubt there's really an ROI on communicating uh, by this means, but if you wanna be a creative person and you've got the money to ask someone to go to prom with you uh, with an airplane, uh, I say go for it. I thought I'd have some fun and ask the Patreons who support the channel to give me some ideas for messages that they think would be fun to be seen towed behind aircraft on banners. This is what they came up with. So thank you to the Patreon supporters for contributing ideas. That was a lot of fun. If you're interested in supporting the channel, there's a link to the Patreon in the description. If you are interested in becoming a pilot and doing all the stuff that you're seeing here, step one is in the description. Gold Seal is hands down the best online ground school. You can try it before you buy it. Click that link uh, and go try a lesson and see if this is something that, that uh, you're interested in doing. Uh, I think learning to fly was one of the best decisions I ever made. Um, it's, it's all I want to do and Gold Seal has helped me tremendously. I think they'll help you too. So thanks to everyone who supports the channel. Thank you to the Patreons. Thank you to Gold Seal. You guys fly smart. We'll catch you in the next one. Banners can be used to communicate lots of different things, not just messages to your love, lo lovely, lovely, not messages to your lovely. There's other reason there's other things. There's other reasons, there's other things. You should really write scripts. Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.